Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we've got another unboxing. Uh, today we've got a uh, box from Wiggle. Not sponsored by Wiggle. You can get it from wherever you like. So, ah, let's get through that. Let's get through that. Get through that. Open up the box. Standard sweet. Nice Haribos. My kids can have them. Beautiful. Or I might eat them. Um, right, we've got a uh, product. Shimano Ultegra. We'll cover up the price. Shimano Ultegra. R8070 flat mount district caliper rear grey. So, uh, a bit of air bubble, air packaging. Woohoo! Pop that. Uh, nothing else in the box. Chop that away. Here we go. So, uh, Altegra DRR8070 right or rear. Yeah, because F is not left, it's front. So, uh, same as the last one, road try or cross. We've got the L02A resin, uh, resin pads included, as I remember. Mineral oil, one way bleeding. Um, you can use metal or resin. <coughs> There's the uh, barcodes. Have a look around that box, get those sweets out of the way. I'll be eating those later. In fact, my kids won't have a while then. I'm hungry. Uh, uh, blah, blah blah. So, let's crack on with it. You've seen my other um, unboxing of the front caliper. This is the rear. So, this should have different mounts. Okay, so we've got the bag with the break in. And we've also got in the box, as we know from the last time some parts. There we go. And an instruction manual. So let's get all that stuff out of the way. Clear that out of the camera. Right. Instruction manual. Here we go. A hydraulic brake disc. Now as I recall it's just that. That is it. That is the English uh, instructions basically. It's the same as the other one. Do not stick your finger in the rotor, it hurts. Um, yeah, basically the same. They're telling you what the parts are, telling you it's got a precaution there. Um, precautions with mineral oil. There's a burn in period for the brakes. Um, what to do if they're squeaky, what the clearance is. Anything you'd expect uh, in some instructions if you're fitting them. So let's get straight on with this caliper. <clears throat> but before we do that, I need to get my scales. And I'm back with the scales. We'll use them uh, to weigh the caliper. So here we go. Let's switch them on. Here's the caliper. Let's put it on. You can see it is 115 grams. 115 grams. And just in case you want to know, hold on. Just in case you want to know, all the bits weigh 36. Let's get that out of the way. So let's crack on with this. Now, this is different from the front one, obviously, because it's a flat mount caliper. So we've got uh, these two screw holes. Um, so it bolts through the frame, you can tell because the bolts are mega long, yeah? It bolts through the frame into the caliper. Um, so, same as the last one, we've got a, a split pin there, keeping in the flat screw uh, pad retainer. It's got a mount block in the middle at the moment, so you can't uh, squeeze the pistons out of the brake. Um, looking round it, uh, that's where the brake hose goes. Let's undo that and see what is in there. Probably going to break it now. No, just a screw thread with um, where your brake hose goes. Now, I'll try not to thread this. There we go. Um, right, so we've got bleeding uh, port there. And that is basically it. That's how big it is. I'm looking forward to putting these on my Yolio frame. Um, 
I'm going to be running a 140mm disc through the back, 160 on the front. So um, there you go, once again there's the name, BR. R8070 Japan. Slowly spin that round. That's where the screws go underneath. So it's going to sit basically like that on my frame. Yeah. Which is cool. I'm looking forward to that. Right. Let's get into the bits. And uh, see what we're going to do. I must sharpen that one up. It's the only one I haven't sharpened um, because it's curved. It's going to be a bit awkward. So let's pull those out on the table. Rah, here we go. So we've got left and right um, resin pads. Oops. Left and right L02A resin. Yeah. Left and right resin pads. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah, this this particular tool. All right, we've got the uh, pad spring. Yeah, we've got this funny bit of metal that I oh, I think is uh, focusing on the back on the back background. Can I bring that in? No, it's not gonna it's not gonna like it. And there we go. Right, this particular bit of metal, peculiar, very small bit of metal. I haven't worked out what that is yet. I might have to push it through something, but I'm not sure. And then we've got these bolts um, which go up through your frame and into the caliper. So let's just hand tight that one in and hand tight that one in. There you go, hand tight. So basically Frame here, yeah, bolts in, let's just clear that stuff out of the background, bolts in uh, through the bottom of the frame, screw into the flat mount caliper, beautiful, yeah. When I got my frame, I was like, where's the screw threads in the frame, they've missed them out. But no, it just goes through, <laughs> through the frame into the caliper. So. That is um, that is it. That is the uh, flat mount caliper rear. That's the model number. That's underneath. PG, don't know what that is. It's not parental guidance. And um, awesome. So that's this review. Let's put that there. That there. Okay, so like, subscribe if you need any more reviews or if you want to see some more. I'll be um, doing them every bit that I buy for my new bike. Thanks, take care.